Okay, so we've done all the Stan Lorenes, so I assume that we're gonna have to go to the meeting room. Or it's gonna start us off differently. Not sure. Whoa, am I tweaking or what? Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. <laughs> it's just, it's those figurines, those figlets. I haven't stopped thinking about those them figlets. since you nab every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to I suppose. The Just one more time. Uh... <clears throat> now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Yay! Zone, sweet zone. Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. That gives me some, like, uh, Dark Pictures Anthology vibes right there with all these, like, mannequins reaching and grabbing and shit. Gives me like the devil in me vibes. Is this is the executive bathroom! And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. I was I was sniffing his toilet seat. Honest, but whatever. I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> What's next? Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? It was under the stairs, right? It was on. Yeah, because I went to look. God damn, is it hailing or some shit? <laughs> it's just raining like a motherfucker out there. Let's see if I can get y'all some ASMR over here. No? Okay. Well, I tried to pick it up with my mic. Here, I can turn my sensitivity down. Check this out. It's not picking it up at all. Well, damn. I tried. Um, but yeah, you can see the absolute thunderstorm wreckage that is going on outside of my house right now. That's fun. Okay, so under the stairs or warehouse? We got under the stairs second. Right? Or third. We went to the bathroom. Yeah. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here under the stairs. It was See, the I'm not one. stupid. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Is that so? Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room. I don't remember this figly room. Memory zone. So yeah, it then. must have happened. Definitely. Definitely not when I was on shrooms. Oh, this is the fireplace. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was behind the boss's office. I remember it so clearly. Yeah. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Not like, well, man, this is old as so. hell. <laughs> Found by the name. What's that over there, bruh? Oh god. It's mini stand number five, bruh! 
Oh god, like Windows Movie Maker? <laughs> so bad. So bad. You found it in the boss's office! Thanks, thanks for watching! <laughs> oh my god, that brings back memories. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot <laughs> really of does. time making that video, but it was Did eight you, minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Eight minutes is a long time for you? He wouldn't make it in the YouTube world. Ah, oh, here it is. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Perhaps because it was the one. What that was the point of this, this room? The others. You needed a key card to come into this room that literally works. had one chair sitting in. All I know in. is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly, and I thought to myself, "Yes, that's all of them. They're all collected." It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. You are in the present. And then there was no more. Ah, oh, it's my camera angle. Caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the, past, the future. The Goodbye, present. Limousine. <laughs> Goodbye, memory zone. Is that everything? Uh, pretty, pretty much. No, no, no. Oh. I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's no. just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See okay. how that feels. Again. Okay, yes. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> yes, I love that video. I do too. Oh, this is the pink room. Pink Still room that we definitely have Stanley. never seen. Still no memory of this one. Good room though. A solid room. Yeah, I'd say so. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Oh, I can't go into this one. <laughs> I was hoping I could see the warehouse one. <clears throat> I guess I made my decision though. Is that under the stairs? You know, I wonder if it would have been empty if I would have gone to warehouse the first time. I wonder if it would have been empty this though. Still. Because the game knows yes, which I one we did. It too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. <sighs> This is it. The very first one we found in the Devil exhibit me where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Collect them all. Can you find them all? Collectibles. Oh, this is the... Uh... Oh, that's cool. No, we're back to the jump circle! <laughs> Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I- Oh yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A Definitely not, because it's been on every single game. <laughs> Left, of course. I mean, they lead to the same place, and then back to the office! And before everything else, there was your office. Were you a kickback? Eat a Subway sandwich on your lunch break. Was there something that came before your office? Do nothing else in There's life. something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. I can remember and then proceeds to die. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. 
I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. It's Stanley I working. I wonder how much this guy gets paid a year just I'll to sit here and press buttons. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. One last okay. trip down memory lane go. in the office. This is the story of a man named Stanley. One last trip, baby. And it gives us this fucking fake ass office for our last trip. All of his co-workers were gone. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on the mat. We just gotta go the OG way, you know? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It was coming to a stand. It's all the same. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. No Stanley Reen in here. What is this? Different text? Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, and if the boss suffers losses, and that's what the boss shows. Buff. Okay. Gun to a panda's forehead. That's how you know he's a good boss. To his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Just sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? It was. Was the bucket guiding him? Yeah. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. I was I was thinking about just doing the regular ending, but <laughs> fucking stop yawning. Uh, I was thinking about just doing the regular ending, but then I don't know. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television uh -huh. screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. I guess I'll just do the regular ending, but I'm pretty sure the regular ending is going to be the same as it was before, because I'm sure I was supposed to do this last, but whatever. Oh, I didn't press the button. <clears throat> it's probably something I should be doing. Life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped monitored like guinea pigs the bucket had never seen anything like this and it very nearly burst into tears as stanley cradled it gently reassuring it that everything would be fine was the bucket under the mind control facilities influence as well had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do what kinds of things does a bucket want to i guess do we could finish it off by turning it on since we haven't done that yet these questions raised I would turn it off for the ending, but I think it's no, just gonna be, I think it's just gonna be the exact the same as it was it before where it's like his own life it won't let the bucket leave and then it stays Never. stuck up and blah blah blah. We had that a few episodes ago. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Only trust the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. 
Control so mingled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. <laughs> the bucket Had turned it on. Had this been the bucket's <laughs> plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. <laughs> oh, what? The control buttons became active again. <laughs> what? What is this? It's one big silly Stanley bird screen. Flipped through one video of silly birds after another. And it's a big one! On him. I this love wasn't penguins. a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the I'm bucket never found very confused because now. they spent the rest of their lives here in this place living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. That's it. <laughs> Is that the end of the game? Did I do it wrong? I said one last go. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here because we're probably like two episodes of one on this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I will see you guys next episode on what I think is going to be the last episode of this series. So see y'all next time. Thank you for watching.